Barry Eugene Wilmore, Captain, Navy. So the last half of my Navy career was spent as an astronaut with NASA. Where It's where I am currently. I flew uh, on two space missions thus far. STS-129 on uh, Atlantis, the Space Shuttle Atlantis. I piloted that in 2009 uh, up to the space station, you know, just under two week mission, doing various things. And then I trained for long duration after that. A lot of overseas training because we train all over the globe. Flew on a Soyuz in 2014 up to the space station, was commander of the space station, was there for six months, came back in 2015 and at the end of that year I got a really nice letter from President Obama. It said, thank you for your 30 years of honorable service. You will be retired on <laughs> on 1 December <laughs> because as an 06 you can only serve 30 years and I knew that I knew when I went to NASA that if it didn't work out to where I could fly in space and do the things that I hope to do there and return to the Navy pretty quick that uh, I would retire as a captain because nobody makes admiral out of the astronaut corps uh, there only been three admirals in the history of astronauts uh, Alan Shepard, the first U.S. astronaut, in sp uh, first U U.S. astronaut uh, to fly in space, and um, uh, T.K. Mattingly made admiral. I don't know specifics if he went back to the Navy or not. And then um, there was one more. I forget. Truly, Dick Truly. So I, you know, going that you're not probably going to make flag. Um, and Columbia tragedy happened in 2003, where we lost Columbia. We didn't fly in space at all for really for three years. So that put the timeline as far as flying in space for me and commanding a space shuttle, which I'd hoped to do, um, made it much longer than where I couldn't return to the Navy. Though I would have, I would have loved to. Anyway, so um, got that nice letter from President Obama, retired in 2016, and I'm still with NASA, still an active astronaut, training right now to fly in space. And um, I'm here today because the guy that was one of my roommates when I was at Patuxent River going to the test uh, eventually made two-star admiral, two admiral Paul Soul, and here at this facility today he is retiring so I'm here to support him in his retirement. That is it in a nutshell.